Human trafficking, it's a problem here in the Tri-State. And it's happening in places you might least expect. That was the focus tonight by the people on the front lines of the fight against it. And Angela Ingram has the story. When barricades went up along McMicken to make it harder for Johns, neighbors had mixed feelings about whether they were useful. Experts working closely on the issue of human trafficking say the issue reaches far beyond just a few neighborhoods. If you look at um, area codes of where people are calling from or where Johns are from, you're going to see that um, in the most upper class neighborhoods, in the middle class neighborhoods, um, all over the city. The National Underground Railroad Freedom Center has been partnering with agencies, activists, and law enforcement to educate the public about human trafficking and prostitution. Panelists say most of the people who fall into the vicious cycle of trafficking have been previous victims of sexual assault, and many are recruited into it at a very early age. Police are working to build relationships with the victims and connecting them to services that can help them change their lives. We've done really good getting the girls off the street, and uh, we got team of officers that are helping do this. The panel discussion also included how the vulnerable, like the city's homeless population, is targeted by pimps. And what we're learning is that in order to serve the homeless youth and to end this victimization, we have to work in collaboration with other agencies. And so Brooke from the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center invited us to come speak. One of the goals is to change the perception of human trafficking and to take a more compassionate approach towards solving the problem. And that's how I look at it and, and that's why I'm compassionate about it because I do have daughters and I will do everything I can to keep them from this situation. So why wouldn't I help someone else's daughter? Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Tonight's forum was just one part of a series the Freedom Center is presenting. The next event will be a 5K in April. It'll hope to raise money to help victims and raise some awareness.